30 miles away, at the head of the bay, a rogue beaver has been terrorizing the trees around the Willard cabin. Some along the river here, some over here, drop one on the fence. Otto's brother, Ott Sr., has called on his friend, Speck Jones, to help him trap the marauding menace. So, let's go find a place to set some snares. Already. Beavers create wetlands, they maintain wetlands, which gives a lot of other animals a habitat. But this beaver has gone from a helping the environment beaver to worst case scenario, they, they fell good sized trees, could drop it on the cabin. This is a pretty nice spot right in here. We've got some natural blocking already with uh -huh. the, the dead willows there. So I think if we find some sticks, we could make a pretty good snare there amongst those dead alders. When you're trapping, you need a bit of a beach to set up on a place to put your stakes. Now, we'll see if we can get that set to just the right height here, right in next to this natural blocking. Then we're trying to get this snare there just right. When he comes swimming in here, and they're used to swimming against twigs and stuff, and they just swim between those stakes. The snare will catch them. With beavers, you have to attract them to your trap, to your snare and we use the scent from the beaver's castor gland. So when they smell this scent, they go, somebody is coming into our territory. So just to kind of hedge our bets, Speck decided, hey, let's set up another one. This way, one could fail, the other one might work. Hey, there's a beaver coming at us here, Speck, or an otter. Uh, it looked like a, a river otter. He was right here, there he oh, is. Oh, there, yeah, it's an otter. River otter. I'm pretty confident we're going to probably see some beaver pretty quick. <laughs> if he's swimming in the river there and picks up the smell, he'll, he'll come in. Right on. We'll just come back and check these in the morning. 